Have you ever dreamed of becoming a hacker who can find and fix bugs in websites and apps and get paid for it? If you answered yes, then you might be interested in bug bounty hunting, a profession that is growing in popularity and demand. But what is bug bounty hunting and how can you start your journey? Bug bounty hunting is a form of ethical hacking, where you search for vulnerabilities in websites and apps and report them to the owners or developers in exchange for a reward. The reward can vary depending on the severity of the bug, and sometimes it can reach millions of dollars. Bug bounty hunting is not only a way of making money, but also a way of learning and improving your skills and competing with other hackers. But how can you become a bug bounty hunter, and what do you need to know? To help you answer these questions, you can use this flow diagram that shows you the steps and resources you need to follow to start your bug bounty journey. I'll leave the link in the description below. As you can see, the diagram is divided into three main parts, before, during, and after bug bounty hunting. Let's go over each part in more detail. Before you start bug bounty hunting, you need to have some basic knowledge of programming and web technologies. This will help you understand how websites and apps work, and how to find and exploit their weaknesses. The most important thing you need to learn is JavaScript, the language of the web. JavaScript is used to create dynamic and interactive web pages, and it is also the source of many vulnerabilities. You need to master the syntax, features, and concepts of JavaScript. The next thing you need to learn is one programming language that you can use to automate your tasks and create your own scripts and tools. You can choose any language that you are comfortable with and that has good support for HTTP requests and string processing libraries. I personally use Python for quick and easy tasks and Go for more complex and efficient tasks. You need to master the basics of your chosen language and be able to write scripts on the fly. I'll leave links to resources in the description. The last thing you need to learn is Regular Expression, a powerful tool that allows you to search, match, and manipulate strings. Regular Expression can help you extract, filter, and modify data from websites and apps, and make your scripts and tools more effective. There are many online platforms where you can find and join a bug bounty community and interact with other hackers. Some of the platforms I recommend are Naam Sec Discord channel, who's a fellow creator and a bug bounty hunter. You can chat with other hackers, ask questions, and participate in live hacking sessions. You can also use InfoSec Write-Ups, a publication where hackers post their write-ups, tutorials, tips, and stories about bug bounty hunting and security. If you want to start your bug bounty hunting journey, you need to choose a good bug bounty program to test your skills and find bugs. But how do you choose a bug bounty program that suits your level, interests, and goals? There are many factors to consider when choosing a bug bounty program, such as the scope, the rewards, the rules, and the responsiveness of the program. One of the easiest ways to start bug bounty hunting is to join a platform that hosts bug bounty programs from different organizations. Some of the most popular platforms are Bug Crowd, a platform that connects hackers with companies that want to test their security. You can find hundreds of programs from different industries, such as technology, finance, healthcare, and more. You can also earn points, badges, and swag for your achievements. Make sure to read guidelines first before starting. Hacker One. You can find thousands of programs from different sectors, such as government, education, gaming, and more. You can also learn from other hackers and participate in live hacking events. Integrity, a platform that rewards hackers for finding and reporting vulnerabilities. You can find dozens of programs from different domains, such as e-commerce, media, travel, and more. You can also join the community and get access to exclusive content and opportunities. Make sure to read guidelines first before starting. These platforms are free to join, and you can start hacking right away. Website bug bounty programs are hosted by the websites themselves and not by a platform. For example, Google has its own bug bounty program called Google VRP, where you can find and report bugs in Google products and services. If you are a beginner and you want to get your first bug, you need to choose a bug bounty program that has a good attack surface and a lot of low-hanging fruits. These are bugs that are easy to find and exploit and that are common in many websites and apps. Some examples of low-hanging fruits are CSRF, 
Cross-site request forgery, a vulnerability that allows an attacker to perform actions on behalf of a user without their consent or knowledge. SQL injection, a vulnerability that allows an attacker to execute malicious SQL queries on a database and access or manipulate data. XSS, cross-site scripting, a vulnerability that allows an attacker to inject and execute malicious JavaScript code on a web page and affect the user's browser or session. Access Token Harvesting A vulnerability that allows an attacker to obtain or steal access tokens from a user and use them to access their account or data. If you are a beginner and you want to get your first bug, you need to avoid bug bounty programs that have a low attack surface and a lot of competition or complexity. These are programs that are hard to find and exploit bugs, and that require a lot of skills and knowledge. Some examples of programs that you should avoid or be careful with are Newspapers websites, e-commerce websites, and banks are generally less vulnerable and more secure than business-to-business -business websites, programs with broad scope, and websites with multiple level of users. Blockchain websites, mobile applications, desktop applications, and IOT devices are more challenging and require more specialized skills and knowledge than normal websites. The last thing you need to do is to know when to drop a program and move on to another one. Sometimes, you might find that a program is not suitable for you, or that you are not able to find any bugs, or that you are wasting your time. You need to have a sweet point on when to drop a program and not get stuck or frustrated. Some of the reasons to drop a program are During information gathering phase, you found that the website uses a very different functionality that you are not comfortable with, such as GraphQL API, but you are more comfortable with REST API. Then, as a beginner, you might want to find another program that has REST API in it. When after trying for three to four weeks, you are not able to find anything interesting, you might want to move on to another program. This could also mean that you need to learn more, but it could also be that you are simply wasting time, given that there are many other programs that have low-hanging fruits. These are some of the tips and tricks on how to get your first bug bounty and how to start your hacking career. Remember, the most important thing is to have fun and enjoy the process of hacking and learning.